everyone, it's Hayes, and it's Miraculous Monday, so it's time for another screaming session. Oh, I didn't see you there! And this week we will be looking at Reflector. It's been a while since I've seen this episode, and a lot of you really wanted me to do it, but judging by the comments, I think that's more due to cat noir in this episode, leading me to the conclusion all of my subscribers are in fact a bunch of um, cat noir simps, which is just... Um, Fabulous, really. Great. So, first question. What is the obsession with Thomas Astruc giving people tomato-coloured hair? And, you know, I have nothing against gingers, but there's a difference between someone being ginger and someone showing up to school looking like they've just bathed in ketchup. First we have Nathaniel, and then whoever this is. I swear to God, Thomas Astruc has a lot of unresolved issues. Anyway, Mariner is like, oh my god, what if me and Adrian end up in the same row in the class photo? And I'm just like, wow. In season one, this was the absolute pinnacle of her existence. This version of Marinette would literally die if she found out she'd kiss Adrian multiple times. Fabulous. So the premise of this episode is that there's basically a curse on Julika because cameras just hate her, you know, apparently. I don't know, it's very strange, but the whole of season one was just downright bizarre, to be honest. I had really bad depression the first time I watched season one when I first started watching the show. And I just accepted what was happening because I was not in the right mental state to argue. But every time I now rewatch a season one episode, I really do question the amount of medication I must have been on because bloody hell, I must have been nearly been high every day to just be like, yep, I can get behind it. This show is great. You know what I mean? Like, oh God, I don't know what was going on with me then. Oh God, help me. Also, why is Julika actually coherent in season one? The rest of the time in the show, unless she's akumatized, she's just like... Anyway, time for a mini past outfit analysis slash review slash whatever. Let's start with Sabrina. It's basically the same outfit, just different colours. And I can't decide if her current outfit is better or worse because this is also awful. Chloe has been wearing the same clothes since she was born. Well done. At least she's consistent, I guess. Nathaniel seems a bit strange, so you own the exact same top in purple, but the colour doesn't look totally dreadful on you. Kim, please go and get changed. That jumper is horrific. Marinette, super cute with the bun. I swear to God, they always kill it with her hairstyles, apart from when the hair is down. <laughs> as much as I like it when Marinette puts her hair down, I'm like, ooh, cool, cute, but I'm also like, mmm, you look better with your hair up. Uh, I'm not sure about these jeans though. Rose, cutting your hair was definitely the correct decision. Um, but Max, oh my god, you look iconic. Why don't we get this Max in the show we were robbed? And speaking of hair, what on earth did they do to Alex's hair here? It's like the wrong colour completely. God, who knows? Although I did love it when Chloe is just like, ah, time to practice my gymnastics on Julika's shoulders. And then Marinette and Adrian have synchronised size. It's how you can tell they're soulmates. I think they are very strange soulmates, to be fair. So, Vincent has to go and get another battery, so Julika is like, I need to go to the toilet. Like, okay, fair enough if she needed to go, but why would she choose this moment to go and pee? Like, the curse was about to be broken. If I was her, I wouldn't have moved a muscle, I wouldn't have even breathed. So, Sabrina follows Julika, and wow, this has to be the most strategically placed chair just ever in the whole of history. Why was it even in the bathroom? I don't know. I, I don't know many things about this show anymore, or oh, just life in general, to be honest. I am dead inside. So Rose tells Marinette that Julika got locked in, so Marinette is like, okay, time to steal a camera. What an amazing role model. God, I am so glad I was not a child while watching the show, because I would have done many questionable things as a direct result of Marinette. At least Tiki is a voice of reason, like she's not having it. So while Marinette is basically borderline being a criminal, Julika is busy getting akumatized and she does look fabulous. I've never been that big of a fan of Reflector's hair, but the shoes, the dress, the nails, the eyelashes, the makeup, I love it. Love your eye makeup, it's gorgeous. So Cat Noir arrives and Nino immediately ruins it. Thanks Nino, great job, well done. And he pretty much gets hit immediately by Reflector. Because of it, once again, thank you, Nino. But in exchange, we do get a lovely look at Julika's teeth. Everyone in this show has beautiful teeth. It's outstanding. So back to Marinette. She's still chilling under Miss Damocles' desk, as you do. And Chloe, the absolute genius, decides to move the computer monitor 
to check if Marinette is behind it. Like, I know Marinette is small, but she's not that small, calm down. Like, Chloe, did you actually think she was behind there? For God's sake. So, Julica turns Chloe into a reflector, and Kat Noir like, okay, time to do something, and just all of them suddenly have learnt how to wear heels. Like, they are harder than you think to walk in them if you've never watched them before. But they are wearing wedges, so that does make it a bit easier, I'll give them that. Although, surely the quantum masking isn't affecting Adrian now, he's a reflector, so surely Ladybug will be able to recognise his voice as belonging to Adrian? That's a good question. I don't know. But honestly, Cat Noir in this episode was amazing, he did such a good job, most of the plan for saving the day was his, like what on earth was Ladybug on in season 4 to make her think he was useless, he's wonderful, and they were so cute together in this episode, like all the jokes she pulls on him about his nails and his shoes and when he kisses her hand, it was so cute to watch, even though he didn't look like himself for the majority of the episode. So the deakumatized reflector and back at school, Marinette is busy attempting to insert the SD card into her eyeball. Oh my god, Marinette, be careful when you're waving it around. She returns it to Vincent and he agrees to take a photo of them all in the park and they end up like posing Charlie's angels and then Adrian attempts to give Julica a shoulder massage. Amazing. So let's take a look at the fan art this week. The first thing we have is from Celez, who has made some of the monarch rings. I can't wait to see these in action in an episode. I know we got to see uh, whatever the episode it's from where someone is using the goat power through that ring. Looks really cool. I can't wait to see it in action in the episode. The next piece we have is from Casey and it's a really, really pretty drawing of Marinette's dress. So if you remember, we got that awakening spoiler of those stickers from a magazine and we later on got a better render of it. And we could see Marinette's new design for the dress. I don't know why they abandoned the pink one, although I am quite happy about it since, you know, I thought that dress was really good for Marinette. I thought it really suited her. But just in general, I wasn't the biggest fan of the dress. So I absolutely love this dress and I love this rendering of it. It's so pretty. The final two pieces are from Nathars. So the first one is of the Pharaoh, the Akumatized villain, the Pharaoh, using the Bunny Miraculous. And then we have Luca with the Bee Miraculous. They both look fabulous and Luca really looks good in yellow, actually. There will be a poll up tomorrow so you can vote for the next screaming session. However, there will be no screaming session next week because we will be doing the meme review again. So the screaming session will be the week after. What was your favourite moment from Reflector Besties? I'll see you in the next one.